Welcome to the unboxing of the DIY Werewolf mask that I sell in my store. This video is to show you what you get with the kit, how it works, and how to deal with all the parts and how to insert them in the mask for you to use. You get a bag with accessories and the head itself. The head itself is disassembled partially, but mainly all the parts are pre-installed for you, such as the headband, the eyes, and the jaw. Then the accessories include the jaw, the teeth, the nose, some mesh, the ear shapes, a rubber tongue, and some foam for you to help pat your head. The 3D printed teeth fit perfectly in the head and can be glued in while you're after you've painted the teeth. For demonstration, I'll position them inside the mask to show you how they sit. Of course, they're not glued in yet. You can paint these 3D printed teeth with acrylic paints or follow any guide that details on how to print and paint 3D printed parts. Here I'm holding the upper teeth because they're not glued in yet, but there's a special slot for them to sit slots right in so it's easy to glue them in in the right position. Now the nose can be easily slotted in at the front. Also not glued in yet, it should be fastened when the mask is completed. Then some EVA rubber foam can be used to pad out the head. This is crucial to make sure that the head fits perfectly around your face for the jaw function and all the other articulated functions in the mask to work properly. The pre-installed elastic band can be adjusted for your head and should also be as tight as possible to make everything work well. Now, after you fit some of the rubber inside and make sure that the mask fits well for you to try. The upper teeth are not glued in, so I'm just holding them for now. The ears come disassembled. This is to make sure that they don't damage during the shipping process. A little rubber band is sticking out from the top. You just have to tighten the knot slightly so the ear is standing upright. Now, when you move the jaw, the ear will move. Do this on both sides. Some ear shapes are included. You can glue these on or try to make your own ears. These are just a general felt shape to help you start off. Make sure when you make your ears that both upright and down position work well and do not interfere with any of the other parts of the mask. Now, to power the eye blink and the eyelets, you need a, a USB power bank. You can get these anywhere, it doesn't really matter which type of power bank it is. Plug it into the USB power plug, and then there's two switches for on and off that control the eye blink and the eyelets. These are separately controlled, so you can use either or. Or both, of course. When you're making the head, just make a pocket into your neck or in your clothes to sit the power bank in too. The inside looks tricky, but there's a little shelf for your forehead to rest against, so it doesn't bother the inside mecha mechanism. Now, 
Now, if you were to uh, close the eyelets because you want to paint them, you can just simply press the hinges on the inside. It does not damage the motor and can be convenient for opposing the eyelets or just generally uh, making it easier for you to work on. They will automatically go back to their standard open position when you turn on the uh, motors. The eyelets are rubber and can be painted with acrylic paints that are flexible, such as Liquitex uh, acrylic paints. Make sure to test the mask when the eye blend, blink and the eyelets are on so you can see if it uh, works well for you. What I like to do is to uh, add a black a sticker or black paint on the inside of the mask, especially with a white mask, to make the visibility better on the outside. There's also some mesh included. This is just an idea for you to try out and cover the eye holes with if you need to. Some black and white mesh is included depending on the project color that you're going with. You can glue it on the inside or on the outside. I like it to glue it on the outside because it makes a more seamless transition with whatever kind of skin you want to go with. Sometimes I also leave the mesh out. It gives a little bit of extra visibility. Excluding the power bank, these are all the parts that include with the frame kit. You can find it all in my store.